short bets on U.S. stocks hit one trillion most since April 2022. You heard that right. Right now, across the entire market, the shorts are not playing around. Granted, as you're about to find out, they're currently down quite a bit of money, but the money that they're betting that this is not a realistic pump is extraordinary. Wagers have paper losses of about 101 billion in 2023 alone. Wall Street split on Sox path amid concern over Fed policy. It's just staggering numbers. Short sellers are ramping up bets against U.S. stocks, even as paper losses on their positions surpass a hundred billion. Imagine having that much money and then still betting more and more. And you're like, Mm-mm, this isn't enough pain. We're not throwing in the towel yet. Total U.S. short interest or the amount traders have spent betting against U.S. equities exceeded one trillion this month as the S&P 500 index extended its advance. The tally reached the highest since April of 2022 before retreating slightly with stocks down for a third straight day. The contrarian bet signaled that some traders have concluded the S&P 500 roughly 14% rally in 2023 will run out of steam and they're enduring steep losses as they wait for the market to turn in their favor. On paper, the positions are down 101 billion this year. So my question to all of you is obviously in terms of big money managers, there's sizable bets betting against the market. The market's already ripped quite a bit recently. And also, even if you rewind from October all the way up until now, there's been a big push to the upside. So my question to you is pretty simple. Is it going to continue? Are you aligning with the bears here thinking that maybe the peak is in and we're going to roll back over because inflation is still pretty high and the Fed is still fighting what's going on in the economy? Or are you thinking that the bears are going to just get absolutely slaughtered here and the market's going to continue and continue and continue. Are you feeling a bit more bullish? Are you feeling a bit more bearish? I would love to get your thoughts.